there's a reason, ladies and gentlemen, that you have not been convinced. There's a reason why you don't believe when people bring you an opportunity to completely change your life. There's a reason people have questioned my integrity. There's a reason you haven't launched your business. There's a reason you haven't been a guest on my TV show or podcast show. There's a reason for everything. There's also a reason why if I take, if it takes me a million videos to finally get you out there, every last one of you, to get involved with either one of my businesses or my TV show or just to change your life for the better. Instead of looking at something from the left side or from the right side, being a Republican or a Democrat or falling for evil's tricks, and evil has many tricks, I don't care what it takes. I'm exhausted. I've been up for the last two days because of some issues for about Almost 48 hours. No, I don't take drugs, stimulants, or anything. You know what my drug is? It's called justice. It's called love. It's called compassion. But my real drug, it's called faith. I got the spirit. Now, you're probably wondering, all these distractions. It's almost 2 a.m. I'm just getting home from a long day. And all this, why, why even bother to talk to you? Because let me tell you something. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the rest of humanity. Doing right will always be the case. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Now, am I surprised that you haven't decided to be in my businesses? No. That you doubted me, that you have said things about me, that I've had haters? Of course not. That I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell the atheist a shocking fact. And say it, scientists too. I know what it's going to sound like. But yeah, there is a higher power. You can use your excuses. Um, you can think you can predict where a person lives or what time in the human era where they were, what religion they may be, what beliefs they may have. You can think all these things. You can believe that we know everything about the universe. There's even something called the science of everything and Stephen Hopkins, Hawking and all that. And you may think that we one day will be gods. And let me tell you a little secret. One day... We may be able to do everything that gods do. In fact, everything that God does. But we won't be God. Now, I know you think that's a conundrum. No, you see, you didn't get the whole picture and you never will. Because as we become as God, God has evolved and always has been and always ahead so when we think we, we matched him or her or it, whatever you want to call him, we will find out that as we advance, and in, it doesn't matter what being you are throughout the whole universe, you're never going to be there. Scientist, I'm sorry. If you think you know everything, then you don't know anything. Atheists and every religion on earth combined, we are but infants in our mother's arms or our father's arms. That's why, my friends, even though this is long-winded, even though it doesn't make much sense to you right now, it seems like I'm going through every spectrum, left field, right field, everywhere, bringing things up. None of this makes sense. And that, my friend, is the great deception. See, I know what I speak of. And I know because I've lived a life the few people could imagine. I've had things happen to me you could not scientifically or even religiously explain. 
I've had things happen, quite frankly, that had I not lived them, I wouldn't believe it either. And I'm not surprised. But the question you should be asking yourself is, Hell's doing this right now. He's long winded. I don't really get what the heck he's doing. I'm confused. That's right. You're confused. And there's a reason for that. Because I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. When you finally comprehend who I am, what I'm about to do, what I have done, as a matter of fact, and we just haven't reached that timeline, but what I've done through my belief system, faith, the higher power, God, the uni random universe, whatever you want to call it. And through working with my business partners of the past, present, and future, I don't think you understand, but you will. It's not to, today will not be the day you understand. You will still, I guarantee you, you will still ignore these videos. They will be lucky if there is one person that watches this video because you're not meant to. Now, if you're confused, I'll explain it. There truly is an evil force in the universe. And that evil force does not want me, nor did it want Jesus to succeed. No, I'm not comparing myself to Jesus. I'm like a worm compared to him being an eagle. But we do have one thing in common, a belief that all people matter we love all people unconditionally. We have been with people and accepted people that society has not. We've loved those who were considered love without love or not to be loved or loveless. And because of that, when you finally get it, when the people come in, and I know how weird this is to my business partners, but it's supposed to be weird. All of this is, and it's hard for me to explain it. Everything that is going on is supposed to go on. Now, I'll explain it in this, in this way. In the next few weeks, it's now April the 30th. And actually, hold up. Yep, I want to make sure. Actually, it's... 2.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm still not in the house, Diane. I do it my way. That's my sister. She gets on my last nerve. Sometimes I think I have to go to the hospital and say, can I get a new set of nerves up in here, up in here? <laughs> hey, Ray, sorry about that. It's a sidebar. I might even title this, you ain't going to understand, but let me throw down what's going on here. So did you know? If you were to understand, comprehend, get into my business, be on my TV show, and believe, and if I were to be super famous right now, it would hurt a lot of people on this earth. Yeah, what? Yeah, it would. Financially, it would hurt them. What? What's, what are you smoking? I'm not smoking anything. Let me tell you real fast. You see, very soon, this war on poverty that I have is going to start singing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're all going to get together, seven people, maybe two people at a time, till we start creating wealth. We're going to work together. You're going to use your skill sets. I'm going to use mine. We're going to help each other. And this revolution is going to happen. But it's going to put a lot of people out of business. Those who want to enslave the planet, I'm going to have a problem. Now, at least you think I'm delusional, that it can't be done. I would submit to you, if you are a person that believes in a God, you don't believe in a God at all. Because if you don't believe in through God, all things are possible, you should never go to church again or read any kind of religious book because you are actually deceiving yourself. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make another video. We're going to continue this very bizarre set of videos. And just maybe, when we're done, just maybe, you may find 
that a revolution has already happened, a peaceful financial ethical one. You may find I'm your new best friend and I always have been.